Hello fellow collectors, today we're going to be talking about DC Multiverse Superman of Earth 2, Crisis on Infinite Earth, the collect to build the monitor. He is number four in the line. We see he comes with the monitor arms, or his arms and hands, and we have Superman of Earth 2, Crisis on Infinite Earth, and we have Superman of Earth 2. On the back, we see the Monitor and Crisis on Infinite Earth, and Superman comes with the arms. We also see the figures that are in the lineup. Here we go. So if I bring out my scale, and I turn it on. We'll see that this comes in at 12.6 ounces. So let's get them off the scale and out of the box. Okay, now that we have them out of the box, we can take a look at the card he comes with. We have the artwork from the box. On the back, we have a data file. Please pause to read. So, we see that this Superman comes with two arms for anti-monitor. Okay, there we go. So here we have the hands. That he comes with. And it's funny, he came with parts for anti-monitor and comes with hands. I think him and Kid Flash are the only ones to do so. The Spectre and Psycho Pirate, no accessories. Now this guy definitely has the older look of a Superman. This face sculpt is a little bit different. Definitely older looking Superman. We have the old Superman S here. This light blue we've seen before in Superman figures. Way down to his boot. Now the first thing I want to talk about is this cape. A wired cape. So it's very cool that we get a Superman with a huge S on the back that is that also comes with a wired cape. We can have it flowing in the wind as he's flying towards you or something like that, you know. It's a very cool display effect. Love that McFarland is putting these in his figure now. Just love it. Now, as far as articulation goes, left and right, down and up. He has these gap guards here for the shoulder, so he can get a little bit more movement out of those. Much appreciated there. Arms rotate all the way around. Bicep bend. Double bend in the elbows. This wrist is on a double peg hinge. See the peg here, the peg here, the bend here, the ball jointed peg. So now we have the Abbey Crunch. It's very cool to do the Ab Crunch there. Going forward, get a little bit of an Ab Crunch, not much of one. Get a little bit of gap on those. Now he can turn at the waist, and you get a little bit of that upper rotation. Splits. You can do a very nice Von Dom. And going forward and back. He also has a little bit of that rotation at the thigh. Double bend in the knee. Come all the way down to this ankle here. We can see we have the peg here, the ball jointed peg here for this, which is very nice. It's a, a way of helping your figure stand a little bit more better, more better, uh, stand better. So here we have the peck hole and the toe bend. Yes, still early in the morning. So definitely digging this Superman here. And uh, definitely liking it. Okay, so if I bring in some other Superman, here we have the Superman Classics version you can definitely see the different body styles here and then if I bring in Superman from Action Comics 1000 you can see the body style there 
So all three different body styles for all three different comic versions of Superman. So like I said, this Superman is a little bit older version. This is one of the infinite Earths that we had in the storyline. So it's very cool to see another rendition of Superman. So if I bring in his wave mates here, see we have Kid Flash, the Spectre, and Psycho Pirate. Now people have been knocking this wave for being so expensive and everything like that. Well, you know, it is what it is, but um, it is nothing new. We have seen this before, especially with McFarlane. Different prices for the same type of figure. Just depends on how much they need to make their profits look good. So, remember, as always, shop around. Like, subscribe, and keep collecting.